Hi boys and girls. The next several weeks are going to be makeup weeks for students who need to catch up on some of the graded work from uh, quarter three. So if you're in fourth or fifth grade, there are several things that have been graded um, and a lot of lessons work up to those grades. So I'm going to talk about that right now. If you haven't finished any of the activities I talk about at this point, you need to do those these next few weeks so that I have your grades caught up. And if you've done all the activities that I talk about, then you get to do the read alouds that I have planned for fourth and fifth grade. Fourth grade will be doing uh, Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. And it's a new book by Kwame Mabalia. And then fifth grade, you all will be reading the graveyard book with Miss Bell. So it is a creepy, spooky book that um, I hope you like kind of creepy, spooky stuff. If not, sorry, we'll do something different next time. But you'll be doing that and listening to that read aloud if you have finished everything that I show you today. So let's go into Schoology and I'll show you what's up. All right, so we started this new quarter with week 18, which is a lesson about citing nonfiction books as research resources. Then we did week 19, which is about citing nonfiction books and reviewing that and then citing websites. After that, we did a Kahoot that reviews nonfiction um, books and citing nonfiction books and websites. And then week 21 has a grade. Week 21 is a mini quiz and it's on fiction versus nonfiction, citing nonfiction resources like books and websites, and it's a little mini quiz. You can take this quiz three times for the highest grade, okay? So you would want to look at those weeks and then complete week 21. You want to get a 75 or higher to get a B or better on this, this quiz. So look at the directions, find out how you would do this. Um, I can show you real quick. If you click on week 21, you got the video directions. But right here, you have the activity. And if you click on that, anyway, this explains our grading scales. So 75 to 91 is a B, 92 to 100 is an A. So you would click start new attempt. You can tape this up to three times to um, complete it and get the highest grade. So you would take the quiz, answer the questions or multiple choice, take your time, and then you would submit it and your grade, after you submit it, would come up over here. So you want a 75 or better, okay? I cannot show you that part because I'm a teacher and it won't allow me to do it. If you need to take it again, um, you would go back, you would be back on the main um, area that would say test quiz and then you would be able to start a new attempt here. Okay, so week 21 is our first grade. Let me go back and I'll show you what the next one is. Okay, and then we did the Wilma Rudolph biography activity. I believe that was week 23 for fourth and fifth grade. So that is a graphic organizer that you want to complete for a grade using either Pebble Go, biographies, or you can um, also just Google this stuff if you can't access Pebble Go biographies at home. But here's where we have the activity. You guys would want to click here to get to UD Lib Search, and then you go into biographies, username and password are there. And then you would click my document, which would be right there to open the organizer and fill out the whole organizer and then submit it. So that is the next grade. So that was week 23. The final grade right now um, is going to be, I believe it's week 25, because after you did week 23 and we had talked about biographies for a couple weeks, we did nonfiction text features in week 24. And the mini quiz here, it reviews biographies and the text features we went over. So that's the third grade so far. And here's where you have a Kahoot review. And then you have a five question mini quiz here. So it is week 21. That's a grade. Then 
week 23 and then week 25. If you haven't done some of those, you need to do them today and then you can get into the read aloud. If you've done all of this, go ahead right into the read aloud. That's in the next activity and you're good to go.